Hello everybody, uh, Happy New Year, here we are January the 21st and welcome to the first Agroecology vlog from Dalesford Farm of 2020. Today we're carrying out quite a major operation in the sheep unit. Here we are in the nice shed here and we're actually scanning our ewes. We scan them to determine whether they are pregnant or not and to determine how many lambs they are carrying. That brings huge benefits and I'd advise anybody to scan their sheep because if you know if they're having a single, a twin or a triple, you can manage and feed them accordingly. There's about 1,200 Thlins. Thlin is our chosen commercial ewe on our farm. She's a medium-sized sheep, giving me an abundance of lambs and producing a high-quality carcass for our requirements. All 1,200 will be scanned today. It's very efficient. They run through a race. And the guy will mark them red for a single, no mark for a twin, and green for a triplet. The ewes then in the next couple of weeks will be split into various pens, triplets, singles and twins. And then about three weeks before lambing time, we're able to feed them accordingly. Obviously if a ewe is carrying three lambs, she needs a slightly higher ration, or a higher quality ration, to be able to grow those lambs, produce milk and maintain their own body condition than the single. In fact, the singles get nothing here. It's just a silage diet that they'll get. Twins will get a little tiny bit up to lambing time and triplets will get that little bit extra. Our ewes, I know that the first few that have gone through, there's several hundred, we're averaging about 193, 195%. That is bang on where we want to be. If you remember, it was a very, very wet tupping time. And I've always been of the belief that if you have nice, sunny, frosty days at tupping time, you know, it aids with, with a high lambing percentage. That's blown out of the window, actually, because it was wet and miserable. We're getting very few empty sheep, or ewes that aren't pregnant, and we're getting this 195% lambing scanning, which is very, very pleasing. Interestingly, we have two farms, one here in the Cotswolds and one up in Staffordshire, and the ladies, the sheep up in Staffordshire, always scan a little bit more, so they'll be about that 205%. But I'm very happy with 195. Sheep has two teats, and the ideal number is two. So we hope that the triplets sort of weigh with the singles and at lambing time we're able to adopt lambs on and off various ewes to give us as many sets of twins as we can. If they're scanned and they're in a pen and you know she's having three or you know she's having a single, that's a very useful tool to be able to adopt lambs on right at birth. You get a good lambing team and a good night lambing lamb that can make you an awful lot of money by getting lambs adopted on. These ewes were shorn about three weeks ago. Um, I love shearing in the winter. We get them in this nice house. Obviously, if you're going to do that, you will need a nice shed that you can close up and keep sheltered, but at the same time have a nice amount of air circulation. One of the great stresses you can put onto sheep when housing them is putting them inside, because imagine weather temperatures now are so bizarre, we can have 13, possibly 15 degrees days in the winter, and then go down to minus six or seven in the evening. That's a sort of 20 degree fluctuation. That's putting that animal and its metabolism under a huge amount of stress. By shearing them, you have created this environment where they're really comfortable. They're obviously on nice deep straw beds and we close the shed up and keep it nice and warm. If it comes a mild spell, we'll open up all the doors and let lots of fresh air in. That's really important. And the golden rule is if you're going to shear sheep in the winter, you need at least eight weeks of wool growth before they're turned out. Now we don't start lambing until the 1st of April. So we've got plenty of time to allow the ewes to put on a nice covering of wool before they're turned back out onto grass. So scanning is hugely uh, beneficial to us. It gives us all the knowledge we need about sheep, how to feed them, much easier to manage at one time. Now, I think we're paying about 50 pence a sheep to have these scanned, which I think is tremendous value and enables us, as I say, to manage our sheep in a very uh, highly proficient way. Um, we will scan 
at 195%. So the first few that have gone through are averaging about 195%, and that's exactly where I want to be. These flims can, they are very prolific. In fact, our flock in the north, in Staffordshire, will scan about 10% higher, but 195 is exactly where I want to be, and I'm really pleased with it. I hope you found that useful. See you next month. Thank you.